Hello, now we will consider the number of real solutions when quadratic equation is given in standard form. You remember what is standard form of quadratic equation? It's like f of x is equals to ax square plus bx plus c. Okay, this is the standard form of quadratic equation. Now, number of solutions, how many can it, can it have? It could have one solution two solutions or no solutions. Well, how to decide how many? You remember the quadratic formula? So this could be solved for zero. When we say number of solutions, then we are looking for x-intercepts or the value of the function is zero. That means zero equals to this. If I write zero equals to ax square plus bx plus c, then I can find solutions of this quadratic equation by the formula x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2 times a. Correct? So that is an excellent equation to find number of solutions also. How it does give you number of solutions? You have to only test the value of b square minus 4ac. So, what happens? If you test the value of b square minus 4ac, then it could be either 0 or negative or positive. Correct? Let's say b square minus 4ac is positive. If b square minus 4ac is positive, then this radical will be positive and we'll have two values, plus and minus. Do you understand? So we'll have two solutions. One will be minus b plus that radical divided by 2a. Second will be minus b minus that radical divided by 2a. Correct? So, that leads to two solutions. Correct? If b square minus 4ac is 0, then if this is 0, then we are left with minus b by 2a. Correct? Only one value. Right? Not plus minus anything. It's plus minus 0. So, we are left with minus b by 2a. So, we get only one solution. Does it make sense to you? But if b square minus 4ac, which is also called discriminant, is negative, then negative radical, square root of negative, mm -hmm, we don't have in real numbers. It becomes imaginary number. So, we say zero real solutions. Okay? Let me put the word real solutions here. Very important to show that the solutions are valid, but they are not in the domain of real numbers. So you cannot see them as x-intercepts. So this is how we really test whether a standard equation in for a quadratic function has one solution, two solutions, or no solutions. Okay? Now, what we will do as an exercise is try to find number of solutions for the given equation. Let us say, if I have x square equals to 2x square minus x plus 3, then what is b square minus 4ac? Well, let's first try to understand what is a, what is b, and what is c. a is coefficient of x square, so which is 2. So we say a equals to 2. b is coefficient of x, so we say b equals to minus 1 and c is the constant term here in this case it is 3 correct now we have all this now what is b square minus 4ac say b square minus 4ac so what is b for us minus 1 equals to minus 1 square minus 4 times a and c a is 2 and c is 3 correct so we get minus 1 square is 1 minus 4 times 2, 8, 8 times 3, 24. So we land up with minus 23. If b square minus 3 is minus 23, then how many real solutions do you expect? None. Zero. Do you see that? This is the way to calculate b square minus 4 is Correct? Now let's try one more. So this time, I will change some numbers and we'll say fx equals to, 
So basically what happened was, you will notice B was very low number. Do you see just one? So B square was really very small and those two numbers were positive, which made huge difference, right? If I would have written B as 5, think B as 5, then this would be minus 5 square. Minus 5 square would have been 25. Do you see that? So that value of 5 would made it plus and then we could have got two solutions. Sometimes we can give this problem as follows. I can say let the function be f of x equals to 2x square plus kx plus 3. And now the question is find the value of k for which you have one solution, two solution or no solution. Do you understand? The difference will be we will do exactly like this. Instead of minus 1 here, we will put k. And then it will be k square minus 24. And that will help you to find when we will have how many solutions, right? So k square is 24. If k is square root of 24, right? In that case, you will have just one solution. Otherwise, you can figure out how can you know all other conditions correct now let's do it with some of the value so I'll take this as this time x square I'm not taking a very big value for a and c but I am taking a big value for the number in the middle b okay okay well let's take this as let's say 5 this time okay 5x plus 1 now Let's see what do we get. So for this, A is how much? A is 1, right? Because coefficient of x square is 1. And B is 5. And C is 1, correct? So B square minus 4 is here for us is B square is 5. As if 5 square minus 4 times A is 1. And C is 1. Which is 25 minus 4. Which is 21. Which is positive. If it is positive, then how many solutions do we get? 2. Is it okay? So like that. But in case we have another function, let us say gx is equal to, now I want to give you an example which has only one solution. How can I create that? Well, if it is a perfect square, it will work for me. Do you understand? Perfect square will work for me. Okay, so how can I write perfect square here? So we have x square here plus we can write some number here, let's say 9. So 9 is perfect square of 3, 3 square. And the center term should be 2 times 3 and x. So it will be 2 times 3 is 6, if I 6x, correct? Then let's now consider this. b square minus 4 is c. So what is a, b and c? I'm not writing this time. a is 1, b is 6 and c is 9. So b square is 6 square, correct? 6 square minus 4 times a is 1 and c is 9. So what do we get? 6 square is 36 minus 36 which is 0. Do you see that? So if it is 0, how many solutions do I get? I get just one solution. Do you understand? Do you appreciate how I got this? It was a perfect square of what? x plus 3 whole square, right? So those kinds of terms will give you one solution and that will be at minus 3 in this case. Do you understand? So that is how you have to analyze your equation in standard form to figure out how many solutions can we have, right? We can sometimes have a question like this that if I have a function gx is equal to 2a, let me write 2k here, 2k plus 5x, 2k, I'm writing constant here and writing an equation in a different way, do you understand, 2k plus 5x minus x square, now you have to figure out what value of k will give me 0 real solution, 1 real solution or 2 real solution. Don't forget to reorganize. 
what is the a value here a value is minus 1 b value is 5 and c here is 2k do you understand so b square minus 4 is c will mean 5 square is b minus 4 times 2k minus 1 do you understand solve for this and find what value of k can give you 0 1 or 2 solutions okay i hope it will be a fun exercise try some on your own okay and we will do in another video more examples involving k's right and then you will understand how to do them great thank you